doing some test flights for some things that I'm working on for micro quads, which are a ton of fun, and when it is freezing outside as it is today. It's very nice because I can do my test flights from in my warm, cozy office. But anyways, we're actually gonna be doing one better. We are escaping the cold altogether. Today is a travel day, headed to California, and I'm psyched. My flight isn't until later this evening, which is a pain for me, but it's giving me an opportunity to talk about something today that is probably one of the most requested topics, which is um, how I deal with packing things to go through the airport and dealing with airport security. Let me get some stuff together and then let's walk through all that stuff. <sighs> okay, I've got two bags here, one that I'm gonna check and one that I'm going to carry on. And let me break down exactly what I put in each one and why. Now, when I travel, flying FPV drones is either a priority or the biggest priority of the trip. So I pack enough stuff in my carry-on bag to ensure that I can do my flying even if something happens to my check bag. But that may not be the case for you. So regardless of how you're prioritizing things, there's really only one rule that you need to know for traveling through airports and that is you have to carry on your batteries. So if nothing else, put your lipos in a bag that is your carry-on item or goes in your carry-on bag. You just have to take this with you. If you try to check your lipos, they'll see it in the bag, they'll confiscate it, you'll get in trouble, it's dangerous. To, you have to carry on your lipos. Beyond that, it's up to you. You could just check everything if you don't want to deal with lugging it through the airport. But again, depending on how much you want to prioritize being able to do your FPV flying and how much you do or don't trust your checked bag getting lost, stolen, mishandled, whatever, you probably gonna wanna carry on more stuff. So my main carry-on bag pretty much consists of everything that I would take out on a day of flying and then a little bit extra. So I've got two drones. I could maybe fit both of them inside, but I'll just have one inside and strap to the outside. I've got the radio, the goggles, extra lenses for the vlog camera, antennas. DJI Mavic, Mavic batteries, again, those need to be carried on. Up here, I've got a collection of all of the cables and cords that I might need, and a bunch of tools and soldering iron. After the batteries, which we already talked about, the tools are probably what you're most concerned about. And as long as the tool is under six inches, that's the current rule, you can take your tools with you in your carry-on. And I've never had a problem except for when I was flying out of China because Chinese rules are a little bit different, but for domestic travel, or if you're leaving the United States, you shouldn't have any problem with your tools. If you wanna be safe, you could check them. Of course, I carry on my laptop because that's very valuable. It's got all my work on it, so I'm not gonna risk checking that. I've got the laptop charger over here. I've got a camera battery charger buried in there somewhere. Of course, I will be carrying on the vlog camera. Some spare props. I have more in my check bag, as you'll see, but kind of enough spare props to get the job done. And that's pretty much everything that I'm gonna need to get through, get through flying, if nothing else. Oh, you're also probably gonna wanna have a battery charger. I usually pack my main charger, as you'll see, and then carry on a smaller one, but I may not even bother because on this particular trip and on a lot of the trips, I'll be with other FPV pilots, so I can usually bum a charger, whatever. So that is the carry-on bag. When we go to the airport, I'll walk you through what we have to deal with with that when it comes to actually going through security. As far as the check bag goes, this is stuff that I don't necessarily need as immediate access to if the bag is just totally lost. I'll deal with it. It's a bummer. I don't want to lose my stuff, but it is what it is. So big old bags of props. Some more drones. These are all like the beater drones. Maybe I don't necessarily care about them as much, but it's nice to have extras. Oh, God. I'll actually just pack stuff within cardboard boxes. In this box and this other cardboard box, I've just got all these spare parts. Spare frame parts, flight controllers, ESCs, motors, cameras, video transmitters, spare screws, heat shrink, zip ties, more tools that I not necessarily have in my carry-on, like wire cutters, an X-Acto knife, things like that. Of course, we've got clothes gotta stay fashionable. And then buried in here, like I said, is my main battery charger. All right, we should uh, be all packed and ready to go. So let's go to the airport. It is a 
wonderful evening at the Aero Puerta. I have already got my boarding pass and checked my bags, and now it is the time for what most people are most concerned about, which is getting through security with this carry-on bag chock full of crazy electronics that the agents have probably never seen before. Now other than the tools that Chinese security took from me that one time, I have never had anything else confiscated. I've always been fine, but it is going to take some time. You will very likely be stopped and had your bag gone through. I just plan for that time. Just plan on it happening. Don't freak out. Um, that being said, you might have stuff confiscated. You never know how it's going to go. Just because some guy on the internet gives you these tips and says he's never had a problem doesn't mean you're not going to have a problem. So just be aware. Things can get taken. That may just be part of life. So. We're gonna go through security. I'll get some shots of everything that's going on and I'll tell you about what I'm doing. So to get started, make friends with these plastic bins that go through the x-ray machine. Grab a lot of them. Use one of them just like anyone would to empty out your pockets. Cell phones, car keys, wallet, vlog cameras, whatever that you are carrying on you, just throw it in the bin. Next, you need a bin for drone stuff and for your laptop. I recommend you remove your batteries and put them in a bin. Of course, don't forget to take off your shoes. And your other electronics, as long as there's nothing on top of them, it'll probably be okay to just go through. Is there anything else you recommend I take out? But to be safe, just ask one of the agents if there's anything they want you to remove. And in this case, she wanted to put the transmitter and the goggles and the DJI Mavic and some other stuff in a bin, just separating out more stuff so that the x-ray can get a clear look at everything. Send your train of bins, bags, and shoes through the x-ray machine while you go through your own separate radiation machine, and then meet all your stuff on the other side to see what actually came out. Totally painless. Uh, of course, the time I record it, I don't really have any trouble. But like I said, more often than not, even after unpacking things, they'll pull something, maybe just the battery bag and want to go through it or something. I guess that one agent had me pull out more stuff than I already had and kind of sent through all individual items so it was kind of already unpacked. But either way, no big deal. They were all really nice and the most important thing is for you to be nice. Um, there was nothing for me to get grumpy over this time. It was pretty painless, but don't get grumpy if you encounter any problems. Just cooperate. I know this sounds cheesy, but they are really there just to uh, make things safe and help you and all that stuff. So, yeah. Hey, look, it's Jeffrey. Hey. How, how was your security experience? Pretty smooth. No, no, no problems getting through. Didn't, didn't inspect your stuff. Take, take the batteries out, and they seem to be a little bit faster about it. Because otherwise, they're like, we're gonna have to go in here. So yeah. I just preemptively give them what they want to see. They just want the batteries. The batteries are the sketchiest looking thing. It's like yeah, these the like packs of wire. Yeah, it looks kind of messy. You excited to go to California? I'm excited. Me too.